I would rather enjoy food every bite that I eat. Welcome to Happily Ever Reality. I am so glad you're here. You guys, Christine Brown is getting to savor all of the food that she would like to, and she is gonna eat all of the nachos that she wants. If you're not familiar with the infamous nacho story, I am really surprised because I feel like it kind of took on a life of its own. It was another one of those times where Cody just said more than he should have and really said the wrong stuff, and he did it publicly. And yeah, he just shouldn't have done it. it. The story was published in the book that they wrote called Becoming Sister Wives, The Story of an Unconventional Marriage. I'm actually going to read the part in the book that talks about the nachos so that you know what I'm talking about. So if you aren't familiar with the book, it was published back in 2012. So it's from earlier when the show was first out. And it was kind of, I feel like there was some hype around the show. And they were still at the point where everything appeared to somewhat be okay. And there's a section in the book where it's just about Christine and Cody. And Cody and Christine and Mary had went on this trip to Wyoming. And Christine had been sitting in the back seat. And Cody and Mary were in the front. And Cody talks about how he would watch her in the rear view mirror. He really liked her. She was outgoing and bubbly. And at one point he says, Christine was the cutest girl in the world, although she was a little chubby. Back then, I was young and superficial enough to care about physical appearances. After we'd been on the road all night, we stopped at a gas station. I'd been drinking soda pop to stay awake, and my stomach felt sour and upset. Just thinking about food made me queasy. Christine went into the Quickie Mart and bought herself what seemed like the largest portion of chili cheese nachos that I'd ever seen. The sight of those nachos turned my stomach. I couldn't watch her eat them. She must have been starving because she was eating so quickly, and there was chili sauce and nacho cheese everywhere. Looking back, I hate myself for the thoughts I had at the moment, but the sight of the chubby girl in my car devouring chili cheese nachos for breakfast put the brakes on our relationship. And then it goes on and he just sort of mentions that at that time he was very shallow and still focusing a lot on physical appearances. Now here's my thing, and I say this all the time about Cody Brown. Why does he say this stuff? Like, why Why does he say it? Why does he put it into the public? This is one of those things that maybe he, maybe he did think that. Maybe his stomach was really upset and he was grossed out in the car and he's watching her eat them. And, you know, things like that happen if you don't feel good and someone else is eating. It might be kind of hard to see them eating that food while you're not feeling good. But what you don't do is go and put this out in the public in a book on TV and bring it up and embarrass your spouse. You know, Christine had to be so hurt and so embarrassed by the story being out there. And she said she didn't, you know, in the book, she said she didn't even know this was true. She didn't know this about him and what he was thinking. So I don't know, just what an embarrassing thing to do to your spouse. Like it's ridiculous. It's classic Cody though. He doesn't think. But the thing was the story, it became more than just a story in the book. It sort of took off. Like it jumped out of the book. It was brought up during tell-alls and interviews. And there was one tell-all specifically where it was brought up and I went to find it, but they've almost removed all of the tell-alls from Hulu and Discovery Plus. I couldn't find them. I couldn't find them at all. I went back through TLC's older post on Facebook. All of the links I found didn't work to the older tell-all videos, there's nothing. It's like it's gone. But I ended up finding where one YouTuber had filmed it with their phone. So I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put a link to the video in the description box. It doesn't look like that YouTuber has posted in 10 years. So I'm not sure they'll ever realize that I linked to their channel, but I wanted to put a clip in for you guys to see if you haven't seen this already. Cody, there was a chili nacho cheese incident that nearly <laughs> derailed this courtship. I know, he was that, so silly. Did you How even could realize that? Pull down that, any that... relationship, please. <laughs> Me wolfing down nachos. Come on. Christine is being a really good sport about it. It's clear she's sort of, you know, she's laughing it off. But come on, no one wants a story like that out there. Not from your spouse. Not when your partner has multiple other wives, including a newer, younger wife. You know, that's the story that's put in the book about you. Nah, I think Christine, you know, now she's confident enough to like let it go and have a sense of humor about it. But back then, I know it had to hurt. 
But does size matter to you, Cody? I mean, were you grossed out by, you said she was chubby and she was eating the nacho cheese? Even though all of this is Cody's fault because he didn't need to tell this story publicly, I do wish the interviewer didn't use the words grossed out when she's talking about, you know, how Cody felt about Christine that day when he saw her eating. I just wish she didn't use those words. I will be honest, I was not attracted to Christine in any kind of physical sense. I mean, I look back in retrospect and I wonder, was that fair? It's fair to not be attracted to someone. You can't help who you're attracted to, and it's a part of a relationship. So I don't have an issue with the fact that Cody might have not been attracted to her, but there's just some things you leave in the past, unless they agreed that it was a good idea to tell the story. And, you know, I don't know. I think Cody, again, I just think he should have kept this in the past and kept it to himself. But it was okay that he wasn't attracted to her. But, you know, sharing all of this, again, when there's multiple wives and there's sort of this competition and jealousy between them, I just think some things need to stay in the past. But I can't even look there because we have children together, we have a life together, we have a relationship, and we found our sweet spot. So Cody turns it around and he tries to make it better. And, you know, it all worked out in the end. They're married. They have kids. They're happy. He does try to turn it around. I don't defend Cody very often, but he tries. And then listen to what the interviewer does. So you were not physically attracted to Christine? That's an understatement. You were grossed out by her? I won't say that, but the nachos grossed me out enough to make me go, okay, I'm waiting. So in Cody's defense, he is trying to get away from saying that he didn't find her attractive, but the interviewer just brings it back to that and she actually uses the words grossed out again it's like come on lady this isn't a nice thing to keep pointing out over and over but you know what it probably made for a good tell-all i actually don't remember watching it i don't know if i did when it first aired but yeah it had to be so embarrassing and so hurtful for christine and it's just a reminder that christine was more into cody than cody was into her Let's get real. This was a marriage that probably should have never happened. It probably shouldn't have happened, even though they seem to have great kids. And I think there were plenty of good times. I don't really think it was ever truly meant to be. So, and of course we see that now, right? She's moved on and she's happy, but we, it's these moments where we see that Cody just wasn't that into it from the beginning, but the interviewer isn't done yet. She's got to bring it back to the fact that Cody was not attracted to Christine, and now she has to talk to Christine about it. How does it feel to hear her? It's horrible. And that is really all there is that I can find from that tell-all. So that YouTuber, Acres of Sweetness, that is the YouTube channel name, who has saved that for all of us. Thank you. (laughs) Because it is gone, guys. I cannot find it anywhere. If you know where those tell-alls are, if they're on another streaming service, Let me know in the comments. I'd love to be able to go back and watch them. But back to the nacho story. I'm sure all of you already know this and know why the nacho story is being brought up everywhere. Everyone's talking about it that has a Sister Wives channel. It is because Christine is eating nachos and sharing it on Instagram with the love of her life. If you have missed it by some chance or you are not on Instagram, I am going to go ahead and put the photos up there so you can see them. And they're scrolling. There's four photos. The part of this that I think is really cute is there are actually decorations behind them. Uh, the cli- the picture where they are smiling and they're next to each other. I'm talking about David and Christine. I guess I didn't say his name. It's David Woolley and Christine Brown, of course. They're looking at the camera and behind them, there are nacho decorations. So they actually decorated and it says nacho family and has like nacho chip people or nacho chip is nacho chips that have arms and legs. It's just really cute. And there is a comment that says the whole nacho story has came full circle. And I think that's true. Like she was there and probably feeling embarrassed on TV. Her relationship wasn't doing good. And now here she is need eating nachos with a man that she seems to be really happy with and really in love with and it's just good it's just good guys i like seeing it the decorations are cute the photos are cute the nachos look delicious there is also a comment well there's not really a comment it's a bunch of emojis 
from Janelle Brown. It has a laughing face with tears and then two smiley faces like the love faces with the hearts. So she is approving of this nacho date night between David and Christine. And I'm sure that she is able to see the humor in it just like we all are. I'm so happy for Christine. It's just so nice to see things working out for someone that seems so sad not so long ago and she really just seemed to want more out of her marriage and her relationship and she wanted to have fun and have romantic date nights and it looks like she's finally getting it just we don't always see that with reality tv things don't always work out so well so this is good i like it let me know what you guys think in the comments i always love to read your opinions so yeah, be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click like and subscribe. I hope you come back here to Happily Ever Reality.